My Lord, Sirs, Ladies and Gentlemen, welcome to the North Yorkshire Lord Lieutenant Certificate presentation for 2014. <coughs> the Lord Lieutenant Certificate is an award in recognition of the exceptional service by the volunteer. It is indeed to supplement honours bestowed by Her Majesty the Queen in the New Year's and Birthday Honours list and is in President's ranks just after such awards. The certificate is in the form of an illuminated scroll signed by the Lord Lieutenant of the County and it is awarded of high merit of which the recipient may be justly proud. The Lord Lieutenant Certificate may be awarded to any <coughs> serving volunteer of whatever rank for exceptional service over the period of time. To be eligible as an individual must be serving as a volunteer of the Reserve Forces on the 1st of March in that year in which the volunteer is recommended. The award is not intended as a routine, regional or long and faithful service in the Reserve Forces, but the criterion of exceptional service in the principal factor for which this award is presented. So, a Colour Sergeant Highland. A Colour Sergeant Highland holds the post of Company Quartermaster Sergeant in Headquarter Company 4th Battalion Yorkshire Regiment. His work contribution has not only matched the other company administrative staff, but he has by far outperformed them and is considered the best company quartermaster sergeant. This performance is particularly remarkable because all the other subunits have two <coughs> people, one regular and one reserve, to cover the same tasks. Headquarter company is also by far the busiest company. His part-time contract significantly disadvantages him against this workload and consequently he frequently works unpaid whilst on duty. This sense of responsibility and personal pride is an inspiration to those who work alongside him. On every occasion he performs his duties with professional competence, determination and an infectious cheerful demeanour. His company commander considers him a cornerstone of headquarters company he would go as far as, as to say that without him activities would be in danger of being poorly delivered and even be at risk of failing altogether. He runs mess functions for both the officers and sergeants messes. It is not uncommon for his whole family to be involved in providing catering support for functions. When short of staff, his wife and eldest daughter providing support to regimental evenings. This last point is a fundamental indication of why Colossan Highland is so deserving of this award. His devotion to the unit and its success in all activities, whether military, social or community based, is exceptional. His commitment and dedication is significant and has a much larger positive impact on the reserve's reputation in the wider community than he can know. His tireless work in the background deserves formal recognition. Colossant Highland's work ethic is inspirational to those around him. He is a remarkable individual whose contribution to the reserves far outweighs the remuneration he receives within the confines of his additional duties commitment contract. It cannot be emphasised more strongly how highly appreciated his contribution to the battalion and the army reserves is. So Colossant Highland. Something listening to those citations. Absolutely wonderful. Think of the uh, contribution that you've all made. Uh, uh, just phenomenal. So we, I think we all feel very privileged to be here for, for this event and this occasion. Uh, and indeed, you've got, you've got a wonderful group of VIPs here to watch this. You've got the Lord Mayor of York. Thank you very much for coming, and the Sheriff of York, and indeed the High Sheriff, uh, 
and so you couldn't have a grander group of people to, <laughs> to witness this. And um, uh, it's wonderful you all agreed to come. Uh, well, we really heard, you explained about, and it, uh, there's a good little piece on the brochures that you all have, really explaining about how this all uh, comes about. But it's, and it's much more than just you were saying. It's not just a question of having done uh, a large number of years. It's actually going much further than that and uh, it's contributing much more than would, would be expected, really. So they, they are terribly, terribly special things. Uh, and uh, <coughs> the, the, reserve, the reserve forces, in a, I think, are going to become even more important in years to come. And you were saying Ian, that the, the, the numbers are going to uh, increase enormously in the next few years. And um, so all the support that we can all give is, is tremendously important. Reservists can expect to be mobilized for operational deployments within three years of joining. Uh, and will probably continue to be deployed on a regular basis in the future. In recent times, 2,000 reservists <coughs> have deployed each year, including 120 each year from Yorkshire and the Humber, our <coughs> area here. And um, it, that, that's, that's really going to, going to increase. And even with the withdrawal of troops from Afghanistan, there will continue to be a need for our reserves, either abroad or indeed at home, as we saw during the floods, and the reserves did a tremendous lot of <coughs> wonderful work during that time. So we owe a great debt of gratitude uh, to all our highly professional volunteer reservists, and we're, we're paying great tribute to uh, a, a number tonight who really represent uh, uh, the whole body of reservists. And we also thank and pay tribute to their employers and very, very importantly, their families. And we heard about one family that does a great deal uh, uh, to, to support. Uh, and without their support, ability to carry out these duties would be well nigh impossible. There are apparently 120,000 cadets from all three services in the United Kingdom, uh, and 9,000 of those are in Yorkshire and Humpside. Is that right, Ian? Is that the right? It's about right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's, that's what I was told. And supported by 20,000 adult volunteers. So, thank you to the officers and adult instructors of our cadet forces for the outstanding work that, <coughs> that you all do. And you give unselfishly of your time, your spare time, in order to support the, 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 the youth in our area. And, <coughs> and I, I don't think there's anything more important that you can do who are the future. And um, uh, I've seen cadets, and I've, and I've had this wonderful Lord Lieutenant's cadet who's not been here tonight. And, and um, uh, on occasions when I've met the new Lord Lieutenant's cadets, uh, uh, the parents <coughs> will say, you know, until my son or daughter went into the cadet, uh, became a cadet, shy, and one told me that if anyone came to the door, her daughter hid behind the sofa. And there she was giving this presentation, uh, uh, just like <coughs> being given tonight, and you know, full of confidence. So it's a great thing to uh, uh, become, uh, to be in the cadet movement, and to become a Lord Lieutenant's cadet. So wonderful for, for the young the young of this country. And indeed, I think you were saying, yeah, it enables 
them to become the good citizens of tomorrow, whether they continue in the armed services or not. So, wonderful, wonderful movement. And, and you're all, of course, very much supported by your families with um, car journeys and all sorts of, uh, uh, all sorts of things. So, so, so it really is an evening of, uh, as you were saying, yeah, it's an e e evening of celebration and of thanks, enormous thanks to everyone involved. And not forgetting the four Yorks band in the background there makes a great difference having uh, uh, some music uh, to our music. So thanks so much for coming and uh, entertaining us. And also thanks to Brigadier Greville Bibby uh, for allowing us to be here tonight. I was actually with uh, uh, Brigadier Greville <coughs> earlier today in Catrick at uh, uh, Phoenix House, uh, uh, where people uh, 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 helped to, if they'd had bad injuries, where they helped to get back into uh, normal life. But anyway, he, he had another appointment tonight, but he, he sent lots of messages of goodwill tonight. Um, so, I think that's really the end of what I want to say. I know we're going to be given something to eat, which is nice, and that'll give us a chance to uh, uh, talk uh, and, and for me to meet everyone. And we've also got a wonderful photographer somewhere in the back, Adrian, who uh, will be happy to do any number of photographs. And um, I think he's taken, in the 15 years I've been